So as I understand, this is your fifth convention, right? Uh, every convention has a dynamic. Uh, where's this one shaped up so far? And of course, it's not over yet. But how is this shaped up compared to the other ones you've been to? Well, I, I'm, I was very, very pleased uh, last evening, and uh, I think that uh, it was well done, well orchestrated, um, and to have Bernie Sanders uh, come through and give her the nomination like he did was exceptional. So as it relates to some of the others that I've been, uh, like in Boston and, and others, uh, it's, it's been a great awakening. However, it's kind of, you know, it's this whole election cycle is just so challenging. And uh, so this is the first time I've actually uh, been in a uh, situation where I really felt challenged. Uh, the first one, um, well, not the first one, but I was a Hillary delegate uh, back when the first Obama administration first came in, and there was a transition there uh, from being a Hillary delegate to being an Obama delegate, and uh, the transition was not nearly as uh, complicated as uh, this one seems to be. So I think uh, to compare those two would be the two that I would think is most similar, uh, because I was a Hillary delegate, uh, similar to those that are a Bernie delegate. Um, but I think that we were a lot more respectful and uh, Hillary was able to ask her delegates to go over to uh, Obama and uh, while it was hurtful for many, uh, we all supported uh, the president and I think that transition was a lot smoother than what I see here. But after last night, I'm, I'm very hopeful and very confident that the unity has actually taken place while there's still those who have worked very, very hard um, and have a lot of heart and a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Uh, uh, surrounding the fact that, you know, they've worked hard for Bernie. So it may be hard to transfer uh, those emotions. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, um, rather than voting for Donald Trump, uh, you'll see uh, those voters uh, voting for Hillary Clinton. You um, saw President Obama uh, make his first uh, acceptance speech and his second acceptance speech as a uh, candidate and the two conventions you were at before, two of them. What do you expect uh, to hear from him tonight, and what do you think the delegates and the country needs to hear from him to try to sell Hillary Clinton as the candidate? Well, you know, actually, I first saw uh, the president uh, when he spoke at the uh, convention for uh, John Kerry. And uh, so just as each and every time that I've seen him speak, uh, his eloquency, his ability to effectively communicate uh, the message uh, at hand has always been one of his strengths. So I expect nothing less from the president to uh, provide a message uh, that of unity, uh, that of respect, and that of, uh, you know, just level setting this whole temperament and off balancedness of, you know, the perception that somehow uh, that Hillary Clinton is not a competent, capable, and honest individual, of which I know uh, to be different uh, from all of the dealings and everything that I know of her, a wonderful person um, being vilified by so many. Uh, it's really hurtful. But I think that you'll hear from the president his feelings, and I think that uh, very effectively he will uh, enunciate the same. Yeah, obviously, we all know every year Ohio is a big uh, key state, and we have, as you just noticed, there's mentioned rather a lot of negatives with Hillary Clinton, and also big negatives with, excuse me, <clears throat> with Donald Trump. Do you think this just all these negatives just turn people off, and they're just going to go, you know, rather than hold my nose and vote for somebody I, I don't really want, or or I'll just, the heck with it, I'm not going to tune out, I'm going to vote. Well, you know, people <clears throat> kind of are not as informed as they should be, so the TV and sound bites seem to be uh, their information source uh, of the candidates. So with someone uh, continuously uh, saying negative uh, all o over and over and over again, pretty soon it gets in the subconscious and then you begin to believe it. Um, I think with the media uh, being so excited with this reality TV that the Trump uh, campaign has uh, 
uh, so well orchestrated to not just his uh, Republican opponents, but to anybody who seems to be in his way, I think is something that, I mean, unless they are challenged by the media uh, to really be in a position to say, hey, that's not true. Or, you know, what, you're, what you just said uh, yesterday is not the same that you're saying today. And actually challenge s some of the real untruths that uh, is coming out of the mouth of uh, Donald Trump, which, you know, as a business person, uh, uh, he's, he's done well. Um, he may have had help along the way by having a father who actually gave him that opportunity. And I understand that uh, inheritance is uh, one of the uh, easiest ways to uh, be successful in business. But I think that everyone should have the respect of other human beings and uh, the ability to uh, be honest and truthful uh, with the things that they say. And, you know, just disrespect is something that I find very, very, uh, it just turns me off. Uh, I got one last question. I guess we're running out of time. So you were a Hillary Clinton delegate back when she did not get the nomination against President Obama or the man who became the president. So what's it going to feel like when she accepts the nomination tomorrow night? What's that going to feel like for you? Well, you know, um, I was so joyed and overwhelmed uh, yesterday evening when um, Senator Sanders uh, actually uh, put her over the top. Uh, I don't know that I can get any higher uh, than I felt last night in the room, just busted out with, uh, you know, just so much energy. Um, if, if that can be repeated, I, I would, you know, I don't know how. Uh, it could be any better, but I, I really, really am very proud to see that uh, the tenacity that she has shown to be able to break through all of the negatives and constant uh, criticism and the constant negatives and constant mischaracterizations uh, of who she actually is, um, you know, and still stand. I, I think that in and of itself shows the character of uh, the senator and the next president, Hillary Clinton. Thank you very much, Mr. Hightower. Enjoy the rest of the convention, and we'll see you back in town. Well, thank you.